The purpose of today's lab is to observe the behavior of buffers by making a number of different solutions and testing the pH of each. You will also use buffer theory to manufacture a solution to a target pH. When you get to your lab station, the pH meter should be set up with its probe sitting in a yellow solution. The solution is a standard for neutral pH. If your meter does not read close to 7, notify your TA. You will be working with one of the two types of pH meter shown in this video. Regardless of which meter you get, the care instructions are the same. Treat the probe very delicately and keep it submerged at all times. To test a solution, rinse the probe and dab it dry. Then simply submerge the probe in the solution you want to test. When the reading is stabilized, a bold letter S will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. This meter does not automatically record pH. To test a solution, Rinse the probe and dab it dry. Then place the probe in your solution and hit the measure button on the pH meter. The meter will lock in its final reading. For part four of this experiment, you are required to manufacture a buffer solution to a target pH given by your TA. To do this, use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to determine the needed ratio of base to acid. The example target pH I'm using is 5.10. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation expresses pH as pKa plus the log of a ratio of base to acid. To solve for this ratio of base to acid, subtract pKa from both sides of the equation and compute the antilog. Our example number of 5.10 subtracted from the pKa of acetic acid, which is 4.74, results in 2.29. This means that for every 2.29 units of base, we have one unit of acid. Now, the solution we're going to manufacture must be between 30 milliliters and 50 milliliters. So to start, I'm going to get 30 milliliters of base. To find out what I need to multiply by to get 30 milliliters of base, I simply set up an algebraic equation and solve for x. This multiple is used into the ratio of 2.29 over 1, resulting in 30 milliliters of base over 13.1 milliliters acid.